Welcome everyone. Adam the Woo here as a recording of this Monday, August 23rd, 2021, or should I say, welcome to Yeehaw Junction, as shown there on that dilapidated billboard right here at the exit to the Florida Turnpike. I traveled southbound on the toll road out of celebration about an hour a 15 minute drive wanted to do an update in this area at the desert inn just about a half mile away actually probably less than that the sign has seen better days and from here we'll make my way through some of the florida back roads check out some other things in this area in December of 2009, the what is on the National Register of Historic Places, the Desert Inn, was slammed into by a truck similar to the ones that are at this intersection. A lot of trucks go through here. And it was destroyed a few months later in early 2020. I did an update just to see if it had been removed, fixed up, remodeled, restructured, repurposed, and it had not. I'm gonna head over there and see if anything has happened since then. I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say, probably not. I haven't been over there, no spoilers. I have not, I, I pulled off the exit here. I have not been down to where the desert it is. So I am as curious as you are, I'm inviting you to join me in Yeehaw Junction. Shall you? A lot of trucks go through here. Also, this signage has fallen and there's rocks all along here to keep, to keep the truckers from parking their trucks. That's what those are. Before perusing down to that area or going down to that area, I do want to feature this a little bit more. You can see the parking lot here next to that billboard that is falling apart. But check out over in the woods in here. Yeah, I'm hoping this is safe to go in. Oh, look at these caterpillars here. There's little caterpillars in the tree. Right there. Hello there, little caterpillars. And hello back there in the woods. Very creepy shed. Hello. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Someone might be living back in there. Pennywise? Okay. The caterpillars warned me. Said, do not go farther into the woods of Yeehaw Junction. Look at this alligator right here. An alligator? Most likely not a crocodile. You don't see too many crocodiles in these parts. Oh, there's Ariel! Right there. There's Ariel right there on the... the fin of the dolphin. This thing is tall. I'm surprised a storm hasn't knocked this thing down. It's just... not too structurally sound. Notice how the asphalt there is just kind of ripped up from the earth. It used to be a store at one time has been torn down but you'll notice over here you can still see the tile work of the floor also could have been gas pumps here at one point through history but you can still see the tile work there that was attempted to be covered by this oh, other other sort of flooring but there's some of the original tile still down there oh here's some broken up tile right here as well this was a store or a mechanic shop, gas station of sorts. Yeah. Right there off the turnpike exit. And then directly across the street from that big sign right over there was another establishment, which is gone. You can still see the foundation here as well. 
kind of looks like a tennis court just with the coloration and the, the line work but this also was a gas station at least here in the front portion of the property Let's see where the pylons were and even more tile work over here There's also a hotel in this area that has been demolished. Tile work's always kind of neat to see because it, it's a little relic of the past. Even more the walls and ceiling and roof line are demolished. Tile work usually will remain. It's a little step down. It's a very busy intersection. For there being nothing in this area, it's a lot of traffic goes through here. And just next door is the lot from a former hotel, which was here. Completely gone. It's almost like they, it's like everything within this little mile or two radius has been attempted to be, to be gotten rid of. Not on purpose, it just, it just happens. It's dilapidated, it falls down, and then they end up tearing it down. Or a truck, 18-wheeler truck, runs into it, like the Desert Inn, which is just up the way a bit. However, there are one or two places that are open, like this looks to be possibly a Stuckey's still around, gas station. That's kind of in this area, but other than a couple, a couple convenience stores, that's about it anywhere in this area that's open. Well, it's official. A year and, and what, nine months? Over a year and nine months. It was December of 2019. The truck smashed into this. Nothing has been done. Doesn't even look like anything's been cleaned up. Well, maybe a little bit has been cleaned up. I'll kind of walk over there in a minute, but I want to go back about six years or so. I stayed in this very little attachment to the hotel. It was all the same property owned by the same people. This was the office. Kind of reminds me of the Bates Motel. Norman? Norman, are you home? Or mother? This door really falling apart here. Oh, look at that. Little seashell looking creatures like slugs have taken over. That is moderately horrifying. Staying here, so speaking of horrifying, staying here was quite an experience. I stayed in room number three. Here was the office sign. Yeah, okay. Here was the office sign, I remember correctly. Right there was the office sign. It has been removed, and I was in number three. Here's number two. which would just make sense down the way would be number three. This was the room I stayed in. Looks like someone has removed the three. The intention on me staying here over half a decade ago was to, to document my experience staying inside one of these cabins. I think they, they call them bungalows or cabins. I don't know what they referred to them as, but very Bates Motel-ish. I want, because there were some rumors of some interesting activity that took place around here. If you believe in that sort of thing, the ghost stories and such. So I stayed overnight and I was able to eat in the restaurant. Hello? I don't even know if I want to peek in there. Someone might be in there. Hello? Plus there's glass. I thought about reaching my hand through, the, through that glass. With my luck, I would cut myself on the glass there. Yeah, this is kind of out here. Might be people, might be people staying in here. No squatters and whatnot. I don't want to disturb anyone or even take a chance.
Oh, is this a, there is a caterpillar piece of heavy machinery in here. Look at that. And an igloo cooler, water cooler down there too. So when the diner was open here, I was able to eat at it, talk to the owner who was running it, or the manager at that time. The food was really good. He let me go up in the bordello room, which was when the truck plowed into this, it was the first thing that fell. But I got to go up in there. Got the donkey, or that's probably a donkey. Could be a horse there on the side. See, this is not safe here. This is definitely, probably not the best. I think I should be good. Oh yeah, look, this thing is just like bowing in right there. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get out from underneath this. Now, if you were feeling adventurous, you could, whoa, there's a lizard. That lizard startled me. You could slither through that hole like a serpent of sorts. Probably not. Probably not in my best interest to do that. I am I'm kind of surprised this is still here, in all honesty. Surprised they have not done anything with it. Now, it's my understanding when something is on the National Registry of Historic Places, you cannot tear it down. You can only fix it up. Is that, that's my understanding. Don't quote me on that. Now, this, this is fascinating. It looks as if the former name of Yeehaw Junction used to be that. Painted on the side, they changed the name. Looks like that's been repainted recently. That looks like in pristine shape for a painting. Something just crawled across that wooden plank down there that was kind of frightening. I don't know what the heck that was. I missed it, but I saw it on my peripheral vision. Could have been a snake slithering by. Why in the heck has this not been cleaned up is beyond me. I'm also noticing something else. The placard that used to be up here stating that it was on the National Registry of Historic Places is gone. It is gone, it's been removed, it was right here. Even after it was torn down, someone has removed it for themselves, maybe the maybe the, the property owner, or someone has decided, oh, does that say no photographs? Okay, well that rule just got broken because I am filming this. Maybe that Maybe that means I can't jump over the fence. It is being photographed, however. Right there, so you see that little, that little broken off piece of signage? That was the historical marker. Why was it taken down? Someone might have just broken it off and they got themselves a little souvenir. That states, do not jump fence, please use entrance. Little did they know that later on, that would not be the fence you have to worry about anyone jumping. The one they have to worry about jumping is the one that was placed here after the truck ran into it. See all these trucks, it was bound to happen one day. I do feel bad for those who owned it. Destroyed a landmark, for sure. You see a chair down in there. All kind of items crushed when that truck and that piece of wood right there has been holding strong for like 18 months, 19 months. Now in all truthfulness, I could easily get in here. It would be no issue whatsoever for me to walk through this little hole here. I could either squeeze my torso through there or as someone else obviously has done, just pull back the fence, crawl through there. There is no glass on that door whatsoever. It's completely open and exposed to the elements and anyone who just wants to walk in. I would imagine dozens, if not a hundred, folk have walked through there over the last year and a half, as well as a door up there that is completely open. But that's not why I'm here. I have been in there before when it was open, and I would imagine anything 
that's interesting to see in there, other than the decay of the roof falling in, has been taken by anyone who showed up here. I don't want to, I just don't want to take a chance on going through there. I just feel like nothing, nothing is in there that's worth me doing that. I've learned my lesson over the years with stuff like this. But it is open. It is accessible. And I highly doubt that that door will be fixed anytime soon. Nor will any of this building. It will probably slowly decay and just rot away. It's been, you know, drawing up on almost two years since the event happened and nothing's been fixed so and the sign's been taken down so if the sign is gone is it no longer on the national registry of historic places what the heck up on the second floor teetering right there is a little oven of some sort and some shelving that was what they called the the bordello room you can even see some curtains that are still there and the hallway over there would not be wise to go, yeah, that, this thing could collapse at any time, even though it's been holding pretty strong. That truck careened right into this side, just like the one driving by right now. Your guess is as good as mine if anything will be done with this. And if it is, when? When will this be completely gone and, and or fixed up? When? This could turn into a yearly update. Did not imagine when I was here over a year ago doing the first update months after the accident that anything would be left. Fast forward a year past then, still. Okay, yeah, this is, got the fence here and then there's just nothing here. It wouldn't be too difficult to just hop around that. This lock has been busted. Should I? It's locked. I don't know what I would have done if it was unlocked. Probably a good thing it probably a good thing it wasn't. I probably would have just peeked in, said hello, and gone about my merry way. Moving on. Do gotta peruse back by room number three again. Ah, oh, that faithful evening. You and I, room number three, out here in the, basically the middle of nowhere in Yeehaw Junction, only traffic going by. And that dump truck, number three, here in Yeehaw. got really eerily quiet all of a sudden. Where'd the traffic go? Where'd the trucks go? Weird. Where's the traffic? Before moving on, just to give a little perspective, here is a photograph of when, you know, the truck plowed into the side of it. Not good at all. Goodbye, historical building. From here, gonna make my way over towards St. Cloud. Through Keenansville. Some of the smaller towns that way. Driving a few miles, you can see virtually no one, no one out here on this road, going away from the turnpike. Fun fact, that little building right there used to run parallel to a train track. It was used for the train tracks that would go right across next to this road. So that's, that's a relic as well. So just imagine, if you will, train tracks running parallel to this road I am driving on way back in the day. A little deep Florida history for you. 
Train tracks are gone, however. Long gone. At one time, this was the first state bank here in Keenansville. It has been renovated, cleaned up. For a while, it was abandoned and just kind of sitting here, falling apart. Someone has taken on the responsibility to fix it up. And I believe at certain times, it might even be open for those to go in. There is no one here today, however. And directly across from it is the Heartbreak Hotel, which in the past, when I passed through here, no one resided there, but looks as if someone now owns it. There's a couple vehicles in front. The Heartbreak Hotel in Keenansville. One neat thing about the side of the former bank, the structure is represented here in the tile work. We're talking a lot about tile today, but you can see the tile makes up what the building looks like. I always like to point that out. corner of North Bow Street and South Canoe Creek Road as stated right there on that piece of signage. Now the Heartbreak Hotel has been said to have a obviously an, an El Elvis tie-in. Some said years ago that he even stayed there which I don't think that's ever been confirmed. I think it's just a clever name. But if it is true, it'd be pretty awesome, right? Dating back to 1914. And peeking inside, they have some relics in there as well. No one in there, and the door's closed but and locked, but little artifacts inside as well. I'm glancing through the glass window now to just get this angle. Pretty neat. I'm really glad that someone has done something with this. And it appears behind this wooden carved eagle, that door, was the safe. Right there. Keenansville Bank safe. That's awesome. A lot of really interesting places out here. It's a bit of a hike from pretty much anywhere in Central Florida. But if you're kind of near this neck of the woods, check out some of these spots. That looks to be a marker here that has not been removed. A historical marker that has not been torn down or stolen or taken. Like the one at the Desert Inn. A few years ago, I passed through here and was lucky enough to, to catch someone who was working here and they let me in. They got me stroll around in there and go up to the second floor, check out the stage and everything. There's the old post office there. And across the, oh my gosh, there's a lot of dragonflies flying around. There's also a bunch of cows over there. Hello cows. Making your way over to the watering hole. I don't blame you, it is hot out here. I'm about to get back in the car, it is toasty. Some are over there in the watering hole, and then others, there's probably at least a half a dozen under that tree in the shade. Very wise, cows. This Florida sun is no joke. This building was constructed in 1917 on five acres of land from $6,000 donated from the estate of Mrs. Mary Lily Keenan Flagler Bingham. Not referring to this, referring to this. You can see the bell out front there, as well as the flagpole there. Ooh, I don't wanna look, I don't look too far there up there. The sun is there, very bright. Keenansville Post Office. I hear you over there, cows. I hear you over there. Nothing says Florida like this stuff here dangling from the trees. Well, some other stuff says Florida too, but this really kind of sells the ideal of the middle of nowhere Florida. 
stepping up here on the the wooden little step here, little porch. Used to be located in Fort Pierce, Florida. Interesting. That's a pretty good ways from here. Well, probably an hour. Maybe not. Maybe less than that. Fort Pierce from Orlando is a long way, but I keep forgetting I'm, I'm kind of way south right now. But let's just say 45 minutes to an hour. Don't quote me on that. Back in 79, it was moved. And then in December 15, it was moved here to Keenansville. And there's a 1914 right there. You see over to the side where the mail was stored. Right here looking through the window as well. Okay, this makes more sense. So the postmaster was on the other side and anyone that came in to get their mail would go in on this side. This is where the P.O. boxes were. So what I was looking at on the other side is was off limits to those who were coming to get their mail. That was just for the those working in the post office. You got your mail on this side. Pretty neat all this out here. Oh, I hear you, cows. I know, I know you're trying to get in the video. I get it. I see you over there. I'm not going to edit you out. Air conditioning's on. I can hear the air conditioning unit over there. I believe this is a museum now, too. Don't ask me what the hours are, though. We'll see any posted hours or if it even still is an active museum. Yeah, there's hardly anyone out here. Just a couple cars driving by on a rare occasion or motorcycles or trucks, that's it. The humidity and heat is real. I don't know if it's because I'm acclimated to Southern California weather. I mean, just think a couple weeks ago, give or take a day, I was up in San Francisco, which is even nicer and cooler weather than what I'm used to in SoCal. And then fast forward down here in Florida, does not take me long to sweat out here in this humidity at all. Whew. Get back in the AC in the car. Ah, Florida summers. Gotta love it. You know what I'm talking about, don't you, Cal? You know what the you know what that sweat's like. Yeah, you're wiping the sweat off of you right now. It is warm. Okay, you've lost interest in me talking to you, Cal, going back to grazing. Okay, whatever takes your mind off the heat. Get back to it, Cal. I'm gonna keep moving down the road, Cal. Is that alright? Not interested, huh? Okay. You can't hide from me, cows. You might think you can hide from me, but I see you in there among the foliage and the trees and all the grown up grass. There's a lot of you in there, cows. There's a lot of cows in there. Oh, hello, cows. More cows right there by the fence line. Oh, making some eye contact, cow. Making some eye contact. Making plenty of eye contact with the cows. Right here. Hello, cows. Don't mind me, just rolling through. Don't mind me, baby cow, right there. Pay no attention to me, cows. Oh, and random horse. Random horse back there. Random horse. You thought I was gone, didn't you, cows? You thought I was was not gonna turn around. Did you, cows? Did you miss me, cows? You miss me, admit it. All right, I'm not gonna bother you anymore, cows. Or bulls and horses. Go about your business back in there. I'm gonna leave you be, cows. Just wanna let you know that I did see you. You're not hiding from anyone, except the sun which is, I approve of. Stay in that shade. I'm not seeing a large bird or an eagle up there in that nest, but driving down the way a couple more miles, pulled over to, to look at this rather large nest in the top of this tree. Possibly an eagle's nest. There's even another one over here as well. A little bit smaller, but in comparison to a regular bird's nest, that thing is massive. But this, it is that, is, that is a large nest, way up there. 
No sign of any eagles though or birds. Maybe they're sleeping or out and about gathering food. going to do it for today. A little ride around some of the back roads of Central Florida. Stopped off at the Desert Inn. Got a little update through Keenansville and other spots. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over.